Bikes are much mm -hmm. easier because once you build a motorcycle once, that's mm -hmm. it. You, you don't really break engines in motorcycles that easily. Motorcycles okay. only use two tires, not four tires. Motorcycles right. use far less gas. You know, it's just more on your body. That, that's the thing with motorcycles. You, and if you're really a person that's into riding, you don't have a problem either. It's just riding. All right, Talman. Yes, sir. What are going on? i there, man. Much love. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah. See you, see you, sir. I try my best, you know. <laughs> try my best, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man. All right. Uh, what is this now? Must be big up. Uh, all right. Yeah, man. So big up everybody tuning in. Um, yeah, feel free to let somebody know that we are live. I'm tall man in the hot seat. I know and we'll be, we'll be on for about the next, the next hour. So, yeah. We won't, we won't waste any time, though. Straight into it. Um... Tall man, who is who is Greg Cross? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, big up everybody. Um, you know, um, for those who don't know, Tall man is the same Tall man uh, because I live in the states now. Originally, well, let me give you a small synopsis. Originally, I'm from Jungle, Jonestown. Um, mm -hmm. 79 election come around, we had to leave because I don't know yet the election. We ended up in Portmore. And then that's where everything started from pretty much Portmore. Um, mm -hmm. Racing. My first exposure to racing was um, my father used to live in Pembrokeal. My father was into cars and motorcycles. So uh, in the gully, you know, the gully behind Pembrokeal, Patrick City. 80s, mm -hmm. 79, 80 again. We used to go, as a kid, we used to go Vernon Field and then we used to the circuit race down there. So from mm -hmm. there, from where I come from, may I, may I ride motorcycle now for 30, 30 plus years. Yeah? Yes, man. May I ride from a nine year old, so 30 now. Where is the papa? <laughs> <laughs> well, I want to tell you, say, you know, when my, my, if I forgo in my, my memory box you now, the first time I hear about tall man, you know, is a brother where I drive a Toyota Corolla with a turbocharged engine. I go and was about the place. And then saw me first know about tall man, you know. I don't know about tall man and the bike thing. Well, two two you talk about the bike, me not really going at the car cars, me race. <laughs> well, I race I'm even here. I, I build performance cars. Um, my weapon mm -hmm. of choice here is Evolution, but long before Evolution, as you said, I had, uh, yeah. my father had an angler, so I, I had a love for the Ford. Had, uh, mm -hmm. He also had an Escort. I used to mess around with that ladder. I moved from ladder to uh, a Bluebird, triple S Bluebird that I bought from GM Challenger with an mm -hmm. adjuster. SR20, all you drive. Left that, no buy GTS. And then eventually I bought the wagon, you know? Yeah. But, um, you know, a little T. Yes, yes, man. All right. So little T, they put the live set to big up. All right. And me and Little T put the first turbo style. And Little T introduced me to turbo. I can't tell everybody <laughs> that. <laughs> we put in the engine and him wire it up. And by the time it done, my cook spend road, my blow up the engine. Can him show me off a ton of him show me off a ton of the boots. I'm going to drive it for a five pound. <laughs> so those cars came with five E engines originally, and we had put a turbo style and swap in it. And then after mm -hmm. I blew it, I went back and I built the five E and put the turbo style turbo on it. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And that's the car. You, you know, it progress. Uh, I got to know Bryn Morgan in Spanish town as E.D. man. Speed D man is another mm-hmm. man who helps me a lot when me I learn mechanic trade. The man they teach me a lot. Mag, you know, you know, he is a mad scientist. Them show me a lot. <laughs> and mm-hmm. and sister, man, you know. Seen, seen, seen. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I'm going to ask a question, and it probably be a question where it ain't even necessary, but I'm going to ask anyway, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you get the name. Oh, you get the name, tall man. <laughs> you know, all right. So, you know, funnily, I, yeah. used, to, I used to live in Oterios. I used to live in Montego Bay, and I lived in Kingston. So, I have three different names, you know. And whenever, mm. whenever someone address me, I know exactly where they're from. Where them come from? Right. If you hear somebody say cross, we know that I'm from a military time and them people that know me from Oterios. If you hear somebody yeah. say Greg, we know when me deliver man to go be like, damn you, Lee, you just had on Maurice Whittingham. All them guys know me as Greg. And if me hear oh, Charles, okay. man, me know a town man. A town me get the name, the town man. <laughs> I may have another name too, you know. <laughs> me I tell you upon the like them the original rider bridging them from back in the day, me I thought nine them call me four and cause me sit down from the bike and over the tank it come like a four and me have come me need them come up. Like <laughs> <laughs> four and four and the them call me brother. But tall man I don't want to speak, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For real, for real, for real. Well, you know. In the interest of time, we are going to move forward, you know, to, to your, well, before we go to your, your motorcycle career, right? Um, any successes you had while in the car world? Yeah, man, while in the car world, um, I initially started running the 16 second class at Burnham mm-hmm. Field with the wagon. And then when I, and by the time I ran, I ran the car till it ran like 15, 14. Then I got rid of that and I get a black GT turbo solid. You know, we used to come at church with that. You're supposed to remember them days. Yes, Fire man. Remember, people, man. Yeah. I brought mm-hmm. that car. I won even a 13 second class. I, I brought that car to like 12, 4. Gave up on that part of evolution. You know? Me okay. And Ziggy, me and Ziggy did trade the car that for evolution and then White Squall. Had that car. Okay. Yeah, and then I, I ended up selling that car to nine of them. So the lights and things, two bolt, bolt sell me a Evo 3, uh, the tree for a long time. And then I ended up migrating. So my success yeah. in cars was really in drag racing, you know? Drag racing. Mainly. To do with cars. Okay, okay. Well, on that note, um, you know what I think about for the circuits with, with, I did with the cars? When I get White Squall, at White Squall, I did one circuit race with it. Because I had like a bucket list when it comes to racing. You know, cause he's an adrenaline junkie. You know. The yeah. only one me I get to tick off is rallying and it's because it's too expensive. But <laughs> me do Sprint, me do Dex 30, me do all kind of stuff already. Illegal Sid. race, legal yeah. race, do it all, man. Sid, Sid. Sid, Sid. Well, um, but but what deterred you though from from going to circuit racing with the car? The thing with it was that re- the drag racing was where I really was, you know, focused on because I used to drag race motorcycles before I drag race cars. Okay. And I was very successful drag racing motorcycles. I won several local championships. I even went to St. Mm-hmm. Lucia and won Drag War of the Islands in 2007. The same. So, after meeting Lisa Lee from PNL Racing, and Swifty used to work there back then. Taz, yeah. me and you used to work there as well. We're all friends, and they keep encouraging me, say, yo, forget this drag racing thing, man. Come a circuit. Circuit is where it's mm-hmm. at. So that's when I did mm-hmm. that one circuit race with the Evolution. and But it was too expensive, man. Couldn't have yeah. put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Them tires and, well, you know, and But it was fun. It was good fun. It was good fun. You know, now that you mention it, um, I'm kind of glad you mentioned that because 
Now, I can talk to somebody who can compare both. Oh. You know, bike. I mean, I know bike, when you have your bike, you still have to do your servicing, you have to get new tires and all of that. But still, the, 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 the servicing costs will be way less than a, more, than a car. All right. It's, it's, it's like apples and... Uh, uh, it, there's no comparison. There's really mm -hmm. no comparison. Bikes are mm -hmm. much easier because once you build a motorcycle once, that's mm -hmm. it. You, you don't really break engines in motorcycles that easily. Motorcycles okay. only use two tires, not four tires. Motorcycles right. use far less gas. You know, it's just more on your body. That, that's the thing with motorcycles. You, and if you're really a person that's into riding, you don't have a problem either. It's just riding. But there's no comparison, mm -hmm. man. It's like the budget for racing cars and the budget for racing motorcycles is entirely different. It's entirely different. Mm -hmm. Even at mm -hmm. the height mm -hmm. Night and different. level, it, it's still more money than, than, than racing motorcycles. And that is why I okay. stick to motorcycle stuff. <laughs> yeah, smart you. <laughs> yeah, a lot of money, a lot of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's talk about let's talk about um the playing field now. Um, motor motor racing, well, bike racing. Um, your biggest rival. Well, really, I don't really have any rivals in Jamaica, you know, because yeah. Yeah, all right. So I started out, a lot of people wouldn't know this, but I only raced for one year in Jamaica on circuit racing, you know, which was 2010. And mm -hmm. I went in for one year. I won the B-class championship. I merely raced at Dover because someone put a challenge to me at Port Royal one night. Because as I told you, I was a drag racer. And then, right. you know, me and Adrian ride go to, Adrian Blake ride go to Port Royal and David Brandon, mm -hmm. and him, him a hype up himself, and I go on like him a ride, and I have to just crush him out, you know? <laughs> and him there <laughs> put royal, yeah. no, and I said, boy, I two with up on the road, if you come at the track, why, why am I going to okay. do that? He was the big thing at Dover then. And then, okay. like, David Brandon was saying to me, yo, you must go, you know? And his wife, I said, you must go, man, it's nice, man, you will like it. You know, and then mm -hmm. I kept backing down, because at the time I was riding a 1,000cc bike, and, you know, I was saying, boy, the bike was too much. So a friend of mine mm -hmm. named Kirk Lee said, listen, you can use my bike. And um, I, I said, well, I don't have any tires. And a friend of mine named Quest, uh, Matt Greg from Matt Greg, Greg, they said they would buy the two tires. So it's like, yeah. we couldn't back out again. Um, yeah. <laughs> I ended up going to Dover, the Easter meet 2010. The field was probably like 15 riders, and I finished third overall. First time. First, first time. And in 2010, I think I created history because a bike has never won Rookie of the Year over all the car drivers, and I did that that year. I also, oh. yeah, I also won the B-Class Championship. So, you know. All I right. Well. There's a talk. There's a talk in car world. Mm -hmm. Say, bike no don't make, you know. Said bike no have no, no door. And <laughs> you know, no seat belt. <laughs> yeah. Now, as as a as a former drag racer, now um, bike rider, um, what what's what's the the danger level when in comparison? Or, or you look at it? <clears throat> well, well, for me, it's a little bit different because in migrating to the states. I ended up going to riding school here, learning techniques. Because we have mm -hmm. to backtrack in some of the past, too, you know, because I wouldn't be where yeah. I am without some people. Because as a kid growing up in Cumberland, Portmore, mm -hmm. I used, mm -hmm. all those who used to live in, in Portmore back in the 80s, 90s, know you have to come out of Independence City and walk through Independence City to go to Cumberland. Mm -hmm. And here, living in the top part of Cumberland, you know, was a... a, a M original mentor named Bionic, superintendent or uh, inspector, I believe the fool was that. Paul Gammon mm. him, him, me, me a pass him yard and him a rev some bike and then needed used to bike already and me start go over there evening time and 
But that man, the coast, do me I tell you, you know, Kira, coast. Rough. That man, that man, the rough when they deal with it, you know. <laughs> but it's a man where, it's a man where him like teach, you know. And he was a very good drag yeah. racer at the time. So him really teach more me knowing a drag racing. And then by See? extension now, him had a friend where him introduced me to, which is Bogle, which is still my crew chief, you know, Bogle from mm -hmm. St. Elizabeth. So he's mm -hmm. the guy that prepared the bike. By any introduced me to it, Bogle prepared the bikes. Them start to teach me now and start. One important thing I learned from Bionic is that the racing isn't really that much of a brute force thing. It's more technique. Yeah. If you have technique, True. it takes less out of True. it, take less out of the bike, and you execute so much more with less effort. So, you know, that was that where I cool. started. So mm -hmm, fast forward mm -hmm. now to know that I'm here and done like a couple courses and track days and I'm being coached by One Love Racing in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. It is not as dangerous as it seems if certain things are in mm -hmm. place where, you know, your tires are right, your bike is up to date, you know, your ride within track etiquette. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I don't find it very dangerous at all. A lot of people are scared. I brought even Americans to Jamaica to ride, and they're scared that mm -hmm. over. And I'm, I, I have no fear at all at over. <laughs> But you know, you know them say if you can race at Dover, you can race at anywhere else. You know that is that is the top. Listen, if you can race <laughs> motorcycles, all right. When I came here first, right, and I went to the track, yeah. I mm -hmm. was slow by no means. The one problem I had, I was riding in the middle of the track. <laughs> <laughs> so when they come to me and I say, "Yo, you, you know, you gotta run your lines, you gotta do entry, you gotta this, you gotta that." And right, they carry me right. out again. And we go back mm -hmm. and do the same thing. The man must say, yo, mm -hmm. why you don't go on the rumble strip? I said, we don't have them something there at Jamaica. We ride there, me glad the road. Them said, no. <laughs> <laughs> it was, and it is still a challenge for me when I come to Jamaica to race because the way I yeah. live in the States, I have to Yeah, you have to readjust. Yeah, because over now on a run off, right now on a rumble strip where you can ride from. Even though my hey. wouldn't pull off a, a pass from the last Dover, I mean, up and take the rumble strip in a carb cement <laughs> for running down back and passing, you know. But <laughs> hey, I want to me I say, you see, when bikers, you see, when you not pass people, when you pass around a front where you know, say, majority of crowd, the man, you understand? <laughs> yeah. Hey, so by the time, you know, you know, a damn thing that the fans have. Even though, as me said earlier with Damir interview, you know, them probably can't see or identify easily which race is on the, is on the track. But me can guarantee you, you pass a man on the front stretch and then the fan them are going to have them eyes on you, you know. All right. There are two things I want to address from his interview. From the first, yes. Yeah. Firstly, the reason why a lot mm -hmm. of times... The, 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 the new spectators don't know the bikers. I have to blame that on the JRDC and the part that the type of promotion are highlighted mm -hmm. that they give the car guys, the radical guys, all them guys, they really don't do it with the bikers. You know, and it's okay. unfortunate because we're all club members. We all pay mm -hmm. our money to go on the track. And, you know, right, we, right. We, we deserve that kind of uh, uh, exposure as well. Secondly, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now that they are down to a one-day format, them don't do this mm -hmm. introduction ceremony that they used to do back in the day when I used to race here before. Where like Peter mm -hmm. Ray said, you would come down for an uh, uh, opening ceremony where they'd play the national anthem. They would introduce a few of the riders and the drivers. So some of that, you know. But another thing mm -hmm. I hear you say now that I don't agree with is that I think the two mm -hmm. events at Dover that people watch the most is mm -hmm. motorcycle racing and thunder sport. Are you we, feel so? Yeah, I think even if the people don't know who the riders are, the excitement that motorcycle racing bring, believe mm -hmm. me, everyone is glued mm -hmm. to the track, man. And of course, you know, well, you have to understand the economics of it, you know, because a lot of the, mm -hmm. I must say, a lot of the bikers are not very wealthy, so them can't really pick mm -hmm, up the bike mm -hmm. them and buy the pretty suit them. I'm going to buy it. Mm -hmm. Like my suit, I you know, be at, at my height, I have to wear a custom suit. So, right, right. I have a custom suit. I can design the color. I can put my name on it. I can put the Jamaica right, flag in right. the back. Most people mm -hmm, buy a suit for sale. 
You know, so mm -hmm. our our abridging, our abridging help him out. We know it's going on, so we can't talk straight. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. That's part of the reason why the, the the bikes and the grid look the way they look sometimes. But I must say, since I came back in 2016, I've seen the yeah. guys step up their thing, and the grid is looking much more attractive. There's a long mm -hmm, way to go, mm -hmm. you know, and sponsorship is tough so in Jamaica because you know a lot of people don't really have sponsors, you know. Well, all right. Um, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Is it is it for bikers? You know, like how many bikers now we have we have being sponsored? Well, I personally have no sponsor. And, and right. my partner in my team, because we have a team, you know. There's a yeah. little rivalry yeah. going on, you know. You ask for a rivalry, but no, let me touch it. We have a little rivalry, you know. Yeah. Yeah, so them call me and Randy Dyer the team senior citizen. So in the in the, <laughs> in the motorcycle racing, we actually have teams. So you have Ivory Racing, which is the Ras and Fiend. Yes. Rasta friend them. Yeah. Where if them now no Rasta, them have them Rasta belief. <laughs> you have another set of the name Super Turtle. All of yeah. them slow. All of them slow. Douglas Mackenzie after the president. <laughs> well, so they slow like Turkle. All of them slow. <laughs> 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 then you have the war camp on them, which is Pugu uh, and uh, Linton Martin. You know? Yeah. But them, them look like a war. Them a war with the drunk. All the last do over beer drop me see. Them two man <laughs> crash more than anything else. A war them a war the drunk. And then the real <laughs> problem man them now. The real yeah. the problem man them, as I said to him, young guns. But Pugo okay. named them dun guns. You understand? <laughs> See them president named Zip. Mario Woon. I'm sorry you never have him on the program now. Because no, man. He's a command, man. No, he's a, com a comedian to himself, man. Very, very yeah, good man. rider, though, you know. And I must take yeah. a, this as an opportunity to say, after coming to the States and get being trained and get exposure and you know life changing mm -hmm. now where we can buy like first world bike and my bike from ever jamaica is probably one of the most prepared bike in jamaica and i also rent See? track bikes too as well and I have, I have several track bikes in jamaica that if anyone is interested you know for a small deposit you can rent it and race as well properly prepared bikes I'm oh zin 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 i have to, I have to applaud the jamaican racers that still try with the little means that them have, you know, because trust mm -hmm. me, if they got the right equipment and training, you'd see them do marvelous things, man. And if they, mm -hmm. I tell you this too, if they come to America right now, they would not be at the back of the grid. Seen. That's how talented Jamaican racers are, with the little that them have, because, yo, when, the thing is, you know, when you don't know, you don't know. You understand? Sure. But now me get sure. the exposure, man, I tell you. Yo, man, mm -hmm. I have to lift my hat up for the man, man. Mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, in the last five minutes, you touch a whole heap of points, a whole heap, a whole heap of points. Um, let me see if I can remember some of them now. For sponsorship, mm -hmm. it is it is a little bit difficult for bikers to get sponsorship. That's what you're saying. The climate in Jamaica is not very, very, very conducive to racers and sponsorship. It's very hard. Very, very hard. All right. L let me ask you this. You see what we are doing now, though? Is, I would even say it's an interview. We are doing a reasoning. We are all like a reason. Yeah. Right? Now, there are companies out there like Superior, right? Who oh, I know, Big Up Daylight. Um, I know Superior sponsor um, quite a few stunters, um, Daylight being one of them. But seeing that motorsport especially circuit racing, is a little bit more organized. Why is it that we don't have more racers, you know, sporting a, a, a superior Honda, for example? I'll be, I'll be truthful. I'm not on the ground in Jamaica. I can't mm -hmm. speak too much of it. Um, mm -hmm, I remember mm -hmm. there was a particular time where they used to sponsor a particular rider named um, Chumpy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which is daylight's brother so you kind of find mm -hmm. the sponsorship come like that where you have to know someone true link 
Yeah, true link. And okay. it comes back to economics because, you know, like, mm -hmm. two juice man, I got spent time, son. Okay, mm -hmm. man, I got spent time, son. Mm -hmm. Those are two of the mm -hmm. biggest companies were involved in racing, but it's true. They, them family, mm -hmm. themselves involved in racing. So I guess no, if people do mm -hmm. proposals and try to seek sponsorship, I mean, it mm -hmm. might happen. I know we have to big up Mr. Lee because... Trust me, Richard Lee was the one that was sponsoring the entire motor racing thing, motorcycle racing thing. And he was yeah. actually giving prize money, so we have to big him up. And he was like a, a breath of fresh air for a lot of the guys, including myself, because I got a couple of checks from him too. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's kind of mm -hmm. tough. Mm -hmm. And part mm -hmm. of it is because the bikers don't market themselves as well. You know, they're not very involved in racing. They just come and race and race. All right, stick up in right there, so stick up in right there, so you see the age where we live in and nowadays, bro. You know, say no race at all shouldn't even wait upon on TVJ our CVM to promote themselves because watch yeah. this now. You see, social media every racer right now should have a social media page, every biker should have a social media page. And they are building a fan base. It cannot, it cannot be just race the alone, bro. That we do a couple laps. And what happened after that? How is it that fans are going to, to, to build a relationship with them favorite biker? All right. You know? Let me tell you one of the things that happened as well. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of the bikers get downhearted too. Because at the end of the day, you know, you put up the few, you know, the few... The small budget for you have, and you go for a race weekend, you spend some money, you race, you know, you win a couple of races, you know. Mm -hmm. And when the news report come out, you don't see no mention of the bikers. If if it even mentioned the bikers, it's just briefly. It's all about mm -hmm. the cars and the radicals and whatever, whatever. So sometimes that also not really motivate the guys because they don't see where they might get out of it, you know. I, okay. can, I can tell you from my personal experience, uh, about mm -hmm. two years ago. I came down and we created this at Jam West where we had CMRC and we had a total domination. I don't know if you remember that race. Yeah, man, I remember. Yeah. I remember. You know, mm -hmm. And I actually ran that race with a broken shoulder, you know, because when I fell in the first race, I broke my shoulder. You know. Where I say? Yes, man. I broke my shoulder in the first race. I started from the back of the grid in the second race. Finished that thing like eighth. And then from there, so I came second in, in the last race. So Michelle and Peter came to me, reggae racers, and said, listen, we have a chance of winning the country championship. Actually, yeah. I got some sponsorship from Richard Lee with the ticket. Michelle and yeah. Peter made some little arrangements to cushion some of the expense. But the bulk of the mm -hmm. money came out of my pocket to leave New Jersey and meet the yeah. Jamaican team in Guyana. We competed in Guyana. We got a rough deal when we got there. And mm -hmm. we were able to secure the compete, the country championship. And, mm -hmm. you know, we got some exposure from it, but it's like I expected more out of it back then, you know? Like right, right. The coverage that we it, got. It's like, it, 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 it's such, it's yeah, you never see the returns. Huh? Mm -hmm. You never see the returns. And I, and I don't think they would realize how much we had achieved. Yeah. And that, uh, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think they would realize mm -hmm. how much mm -hmm. we had achieved. You know something? You see motorsports in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. Um I don't think motorsports in Jamaica get the sort of endorsement from I would even just narrate it down to Jamaica to, to the government, you know, but they don't get that sort of endorsement where you see track and field getting. Right? Sure. Football, the kind of program that these these um Discipline have. You understand what I say? Yeah. I mean, Fraser McConnell, our own, went overseas and, you know, I was very elated to see them put some spotlight on that. But at the end of the day, you know, we here as circuit racers, drag racers, you know, rally, you know, I, I don't know. I think, I don't think we, we, <laughs> we are represented. Well, on that, on that market, you know what I mean? On yeah, that man. scale. We, big up, mm -hmm. we, 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 we have to just be grateful to the few that will try, you know, like 
Mikey Spice and Monty will take a couple pictures and them will post a couple albums. Yeah. And, you know, we have to big them up for that. But outside of Monty and Mikey Spice, I, yeah. I really, I really don't. Because for me, me I tell you the truth, the reason I come back is just for the fun of it. You know, that's why mm -hmm. I, when you said about rivals, I really don't have no rivals. When I don't, there's just fun we having, you know. See. Mario is a man you now, him like talk, I mean like beat him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Besides that, we, we, we just go there, we have a good time, we crack each other up. Yeah. And, you know, when the green flag drop, you know, no, no more joke, no, they're there, just, you know, just ride, you have a ride beer. Why? When, when the race ends, then we start tracking up each other again and have fun. You know, if it's that See, case where we in the grill, we come together, we have dinner together, we try and, you know, bounce ideas off each other. So, See. outside of that, bro, there's no real gratitude, I think. From mm -hmm, either mm -hmm. race promoters or the media towards bikers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I firmly mm -hmm. think that almost every time I see a, a report, it's always about a Thunder Sport car or, mm -hmm, or the big, mm -hmm, the big mm -hmm. names in the race. You know? And I, right. don't want to, I don't want to even stress on it. So I could move on here. No, I mean, I like it's it. not even stress, you know. It's not even stress, Tarman. That's a very valid point, Terry, right? And, you know, how I see it is this. Um, a TVJ or a CVM, um, when they are doing their, their, their coverage, they, they would take highlights from the race. But during their news uh, broadcasts, you know, they are probably five minutes out of it. You understand? Five minutes out of it dedicated to motorsports. Yeah, but it, it comes right back to the organizers of the race because the organizers, the, the organizer of the club should have someone that deal with the media. And mm. if you have someone covering an event, you as the person in that club or that organization that deals with the media should say, hey, interview this man, interview this man, mm -hmm. this man won that race, da, da, da. It's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think it's, it's a bare minimum that can be done for a racer that put up a money and race for no prize money. But there's no prize mm -hmm. money at, at Jamaica. So if I know for mm -hmm. bragging rights, then what is it for? You know, like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, it's the only mm -hmm. thing you get back out of it. Interesting. And the club has to look into it. Otherwise, you know, people are just lose interest, you know. People are losing interest. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they can't, the club is in trouble, as they say. We all know that. Yeah. They can't pay no money, you know. And then mm -hmm. when the news media come, it's just mm -hmm. certain Still people nothing. are losing are just certain people alone you cover like like really them people alone can't keep a race me you know and <laughs> pick up in this why, six, pick up in that one uh, well i know let me tell you something the trickle uh -huh. down effect of that is why yeah when people are out there racing the motorcycles no one knows who they are because all the exposure is placed on these guys that's a good point that's a good point. What, one quick second, Talman. Let me just take a quick minute just to say a big shout out to the sponsors of our nightly Instagram live series. Uh, Kenty Racing, Jamaica Race Drivers Club, Lubit Limited, Wap Performance, Quickly, Wrecking and Haulage, Boosting, Horse Power in a Bottle, Zidodge Performance, Massive Auto Parts, and Kaizen Wrecking. All right. Be sure to check them out on social media. Follow their pages. All right. Um, back to business now, Talman. Yeah. Um, Talman, you not only must ride your bike, but you must wear your shirt and tie. And <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll soon get to the question segment, right, where you can ask Talman some questions. We have a few minutes left. Talman, what do you think can be done, right, um, in your view, to bridge, to bridge that gap between a man who just come a race for the first time, or maybe not the first time, you know, but to, to, to let them know more, more exposure for the racer, what, what do you think should or can be done for the bikers? All right. Um, my opinion is they have to move from a farmer, and it all takes joint effort, both on the racers and the organizers. We are... They might have, have a kind of meet and greet setting where you rent somewhere where primarily the media covers it and people can see the racers. 
Mm-hmm. Then you have a move now to when you go to the track, you have to introduce mm-hmm. the racers to the spectators. But mm-hmm. time is always of the essence at Dover because, for one, them always start too late. You know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. secondly, it's like they're going to a one day format now, so everything is compact into one day. So, you know, okay. it, there are several aspects that we can look at, but at the end of the day, you have to kind of get, get the people them have more access to the racers. Don't depend on just the racers and their social media entities for, for put them out there because the racers are your entertainers. So mm-hmm. if you have your entertainers that you're selling to people, you have to put them out there. You can't have someone uh, pay money for racers, your entertainers, and then expect them to sell themselves to the people. Mm-hmm. For me, that is okay. asking too much. Okay. And then okay. when you get mm-hmm. to a race mode, sometimes mm-hmm. you don't even have time to interact with your your, your fans like that. So that right. interacting part has to be separate from the racing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Because remember mm-hmm. now the bikers are not like the car guys where they have a crew and you know, well I have a crew, but the other the other guys have a, a crew where they mm-hmm. step away from the bike and Someone handles the bike and all they do is ride it. You know, so right. you know, right. it kinda right. it kinda it, some little working out would have to happen, but the people have mm-hmm. to be exposed to the racers. And I'll be honest with you, a lot of mm-hmm. people talk it, a lot are scared to say it because whatever the reason is, but I could say it freely mm-hmm. because a lot of people come to me and say, How is it there's no media coverage for you guys? We don't know what uh, go on, da 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 da. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. You know, it, that has to change. And if they change that, mm-hmm. then the piece, that gap they're talking about will slowly close. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Well, you know, uh, I, I, I understand what you're saying. And uh, as a media, as a media personnel myself, right, mm-hmm. um, I can tell you this. Dover runs a, 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 a very strict schedule. Right. There's, there's hardly any space in between. And uh, you see, from my point of view, I have a very small team. Right? And uh, while it is that I would want to get some off-the-track action, some interviews, I normally wait until after the event to do those interviews. But by that point, most racers are already gone. You understand? Yeah. So that is my personal, from, from my point of view, that's one of the challenge, um, the challenges with trying to balance a small team, right, and to, to, to cover these, these, um, these racers. All right. Um, there, can, there can be space via a two-day event. Well, I guess... I guess Uncle Peter, that boils down to the organizer, the GRDC, to 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 factor in, uh, maybe a media session, All something right. like that. Yeah. Let me ask you a question: When you came, yeah. when you when you came to Dover to cover events, were yeah. you ever like guided by any kind of media personnel from the club? <laughs> yeah, I put me on the spot, you know, man. But therein lies the but problem. But to answer you. To, to answer you, though, no. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah no, no. and therein lies the problem. Mr. Jardine used to do that. Mr. Jardine okay. used to actually carry the money from TVJ when he used to race. I say, yo, interview this guy, interview this guy, mm-hmm. and then that will help to expose people. Okay. It's a big part okay. of it, you know. They don't realize how important it is, but it's a big part yeah. of it for, the, for the fans to connect with the racers. Definitely. Definitely, you bro. You don't have to be winning. You don't have to be winning for have a fan base. There are people just come and just love. Come here, tell you, you know, when, whenever they put me on a poster, you know, man, you know, once they text yeah. and call when you get me. You come yeah. in, you yeah. come in, you know, you know, because yeah. a lot of people but know me over the years. Sick up in. You, you know, something needs to say right there, so tall man. You see, personality, let us not overlook that point. Right? Yeah. Not a lot of racers are are um what's the word now approachable 
so to speak. I don't know, maybe they're having a bad day, or it's just their general. I just saw them, yeah, yeah, and I just them that, but yeah, yeah. personality is a big part of it. Um, there's a reason why I guess people will love a dog gore the way how they love him because I guess you know, dog is always on social media when he's at the track, he's walking around and poking fun at you know, making fun with people. That's his personality. I we're not we're not telling anybody to be a dog, but we have to be we have to be um <clears throat> una celebrity, you know. When people come a race, I uno then come look for uno then come look for. Right? Um make a walk some of the time. That's just me, well, that's just my view. I know everybody I go can afford to come in at the pits. Which we all know. Right, so I know a lot of the times when me out in a day like Alp and Pinky's bluff, they so, and a race I should have just come out in a them in a them suit. You know, them always put it halfway upon them and tie it round them away, and just that image there and them come out. People love that. You know, yep. so it's more than one thing. It is more that it, it, it's it's a few things we have to factor in, but it can work. At the end of the day, I feel so we can have a very very successful program if we put all these ideas together right and execute the, the, you, you, you get what the big problem with us by leaving yeah. pits as well to walk over yeah. is the volume of theft that happened at these races is very oh. very bad it is very very bad and like i i really can't even race at dover if i don't have a pit because the amount of equipment that i have I can't just leave them wow. open. And still mm -hmm. get to every race meet, I lose tools or them just vandalize the glue. You know, you lose so much. So it's not like sometimes <laughs> you want to walk, you don't want to go yeah. walk and check out, but you can't. You have to watch your stuff. And then yeah, yeah. Season, especially when your team's small. Yeah, and unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a reality of the racing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. the gap, the gap, the gap that is being, is there, needs to be addressed. And I think if they mm -hmm. do that, the fan base mm -hmm. will grow. Will grow. Yeah. Definitely. Because I'm going to go home and go tell him friends, so, yo, you know, them introduce some rider and ray, 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 and the girls, I'm like, racers too, you know, and them say, well, I'm swung people, you know, <laughs> and da, 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 you know. But if, all them, can't see, if all them can't see, a car come to the gate and make a couple of laps. Oh, the man, they ray, 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 and that's it. Eh? Yeah, so, yeah. Man, you know, it's yeah, not only yeah, about yeah. racing, because, yo, when you up here, and you go to a race. The media is all over the pit. Them all, mm -hmm. like all, all me, them just fascinated with me coming from Jamaica. Like, oh, what is it like in yeah. Jamaica? Oh, we have two mm -hmm. tracks. Hey, wait, wait, wait. One, one asked me if Jamaican speak English one time. Boy, I did me, I did it last. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, boy, I tell you. All right. No, because sometimes them here, we talk to each other in the part one, one. They must say, wait, Jamaican speak English. <laughs> for real man for yeah, real man. for real well yeah. um all right we are we are almost at the the end of the stream so i'll allow persons um any questions you have for talman um yeah. feel free to ask and we will we will answer we'll try to answer as, as much as we can right um simadi big up carrot Character same style at brother. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. I see PJ what performance. One of our sponsors for the live series. Big up. All big right. up. Big up. Right. Yeah, man. All right. So, peeps, remember if you have any question. Um, in the meantime, Kaizen is saying rent. He want a bike for rent in all, man. That definitely can be arranged, man. We have a lot of bikes carrying. All right. You know, let me ask you something, um, Talman. <clears throat> in bike racing, you have you have no man like a run like Nitro Shot and I do anything, anything quote unquote illegal, anything for give them the edge. I'll be honest with you. Um, we run race gas. Yes. Um, we modify the engines to some extent, but yeah, like. Circuit racing is all about smoothness. And okay. when, it, when it comes to 
power adding, you have to add power smoothly, and nitrous would be hard to smooth out. So you don't find them okay. going as far as nitrous, but they do like race gas, engine mods, and you know, tune it out. All right, cool. I see Tommy, big up Tommy. Tommy Gore. Tommy is asking, what's your favorite corner on a bike at Dover? Carb cement. Carb cement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what make that, man? You know, um, carb cement is what you call a camber corner. Yeah. So when, when, when I go into carb cement, I use my height as the advantage because when I lean off the bike and actually put the weight over, I can actually yeah. glide the bike through the speed I'm coming down the hill. Okay. So that adrenaline rush, you know, carb cement and, you know, pinkish bluff one. Because I, sometimes I take 50 or two pinkish bluff. Seen. Yeah. Seen, seen. All right. Somebody's asking, um, is there room for female racers? Yes, man, definitely. But we are, we, since Michelle, we haven't seen any new ones. I think there was a next lady. Um, oh, my God. Uh, Laurie Radlin. No, man. Um, she used to be by Malcolm Sakura, man. Listen. There was Listen. Listen. Yeah, that was the last oh. two I saw, you know. But anyone can race, man, because I'll tell you something. Here in the States, you see some girls riding by. You can't play with them, brother. Where's the way, boy? As them boys say, boy, they will slap your way, boy. <laughs> yeah, man, the girls are just as sweet all year, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, let me see now. Uh, tall man, remember the time you come at church with the wagon and Goomben kill? All right, all right. When Goomben kill you, something, 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 something. something. All right. Yeah, listen, I Which can, I really can't remember. I won some and I lost some. All I can say, church mm -hmm. was fun. Church was fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, All coming right, from sir. church, that car got a name, you know. They call that car made in Japan, you know. Eh. Yeah, we are work the road. I come from church one night and, you know, right where them sell the shrimp for the train line, they are Spanish dog for the bypass. Yeah. When I go over that, the car goes so far up in the air, them said them could look underneath it and see me in Japan. <laughs> and a good thing, you know, it's a night service and late, so why when it Yeah, land, nobody... Some carrot, Milan all boat in the road and carrot and no, milk and tire and gone again, you know? <laughs> I have to give thanks for that, yeah, sir. No, which, you know, this is another thing, you see, unlike the rich people in Jamaica where the kids come up to carting and them chances yeah. to racing. The poor man, them mm. come up to illegal racing like church, orange park, and that them know. Lee expense. Not that we are not, and look here. We could make it clear now. We are not endorsing it in our sin no. or encouraging anybody. But what we are saying is <clears throat> if we are used to our way, why are, all right, I wouldn't have been a, 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 a motor racing um, enthusiast had it not been at that at the first place we go on, bro. The, the first place my bro my go. See, so it's just listen. me just to try to show you. Me you learn me. some things as you go along and you know say boy, you um I go load certain things and yeah, son. No, no for the people them can 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 attest you know, because when me first get introduced to racing in the gully, Sandy Gully, mm. some yeah. of the biggest names in racing now at Dover were there racing. Me not call on him. <laughs> and when, when them leave, I used to go Helsha before the roundabout was at Helsha. Some of the yeah. biggest names in racing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, man. A particular person come there with a, a, a Dats 120Y. And yeah. I, I want to race a man. At the time, they were racing for like $300 Jamaican or something like that. <laughs> and the man they have a handcuff on him. And I first we see that like in a movie and a handcuff on the suitcase. <laughs> and they could not agree on the race. That's what I come from in a racing, man. We race. Yes, yeah, zero. Dyke Road. 100 Man Street, Lake Spen, go back to Lake Spen, yeah, Jam World, yeah. Church. Yeah. Yo, I was yeah. so addicted that I used to go to Vernon Field and leave Vernon Field and go to church and, go. and then leave yeah. home. Friday night, we used to go Banana Park at St. Mary. 
No hey. man, look here, man. Let me tell you something, bro. You see, if I never, if I, if I never, the avenue that we have for release certain little things, maybe no forward him there to the attack. If you understand what I say. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. I like you said, we're not we, 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 illegal. Reason. We're not. No. So gateway, it's just that. the gateway that where the poor man takes to get introduced to racing. That is just yeah, a hard yeah. more reality because. Him can't mm, put yeah. him can't run that car when my drive probably can fast tech. <laughs> but when you see him out of banana park or you see him at church, he might liquid everything. Everything, and yeah. I'm man. gonna take this as an opportunity to tell you something to and tell the wider racing community, you know. Say as much as now me in a better position financially and a better position mm -hmm. with equipment and by card or the evil them we may have up here and all them things and the evil me have at Jamaica. Me used to mm -hmm. have more fun a race when me never have no money and I got a banana park like the man I said. Yeah man go one week go take lick and that just motivate me and next week man, go back to take lick. We never have no money. But it was just so yeah. much fun. And there's a yeah, man. politics are coming to race in a Dover where the man I meet for cut out and bring back the fun part of it, brother. <laughs> Straight. Yeah, I we want, we want encourage. Look here, enough. You see, since you see, since me become more involved in a in a um sanction racing. Yeah, a lot of a lot of young youth may help for come over. I mean, yeah, I mean, I look no, and I like me I look no. You understand? I mean, I look no praise or no glory or nothing. But the fact is, a whole lot of people we 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 help for come from or of the street. And come on the track. And that are the best thing. You understand what I say? The well, best thing about it. Well, only I saw much bone me broke about three. Three bone? Yeah. Boy, <laughs> boy it come in like say, for bike as at the bone count. What matter? Up. All right. 2011, my mash up the show like Dover. 2017 or 2018, my mash up the show like And my foot in a 1997 or 96. Don't a, don't a walk as well. At the time, most yeah. of the accident may have been. Yeah, I end up at Sedan's Gate for like a month and a half. Oh, Lord. It comes right, with the biking, man. It comes with the biking, man. <laughs> boy, bro, me, boy, listen, me love so no, no, but me stay in the car, yeah, sir. <laughs> but brother, the more techniques, the more technique you learn, the safer you are, you know. People just need to take the thing serious. You know, make sure yeah. your bike is, you make sure your bike is right before you go out and race. Make sure you do your due diligence and learn proper track yeah. etiquette. Yeah. Learn to navigate around the track safely. And mm -hmm. you are right, man. Mm -hmm. Somebody so, asked run, earlier. Somebody said maybe I run against Ratty. I've never listened. When Ratty come about me there at Jamaica, you know. I met him after I came back to Jamaica and he has never come to a race meet that I was there. So we have never raced. I've never seen him race and we have never raced together. L let me ask you this. As a biker, which one of the tracks you prefer? Jamwes or, or, or Dover? Um I'll, let me first say I love both of them. Yeah. But Jam West more suits the techniques that I've learned here since I've been riding and racing in the States. Mm -hmm. Because the, the, the track layout of Jam West is a flowing track. The corners are wider. And like unlike Dover, Dover only have like one or two lines you can negotiate any corner. You can execute yeah. more techniques at Jam West. So Jam West is more fun and it's just a flowing track. Dover, Dover is just a track where you get to the corner, turn the bike and move. Yeah. So I just break yeah. hard turn, get out of the corner. Break hard turn, get out of the corner. Jam west, you have cool. to go into the corner full speed, your entry speed of right, you have to pick your exit, your eyesight of your work, everything of your work at Jam West. Dover is cool. Cool. Dover to me is an easier track than Jam West. Okay. Yeah. All right. The Somebody's right asking Jam West like how you ride Dover. Yeah, different technique. Yeah, yeah, I can't speed up up a jam west man. Tap up. See it, see it, see it. All right. Somebody's asking if you ever get nervous when you're racing. All the time, man. All the time. Eh. Yeah. You know, you just you every every race have a way in which them find to calm themselves down before a race. And mm -hmm. when you 
when you when you when you come out on the track and you walk past like the timing tower, the um, people start cutting. <laughs> You know, <laughs> yeah, but just shake it off. These are man, me, my personal routine is to just zone out everybody. Like five minutes after the race, I stop talking to people. And yeah, yeah. Try to memorize the track. You know, memorize mm -hmm. the track, memorize mm -hmm. the track. You know, because that's mm -hmm. the thing with, with circuit racing. You have to consistently do the same thing. You have to know the mm -hmm. track. You know, so mm -hmm. that me do for try to calm down my nervousness. Sometimes, if you are too nervous or you are too aggressive with the bike you will actually fall you will lose concentration mm -hmm. so you know over time you develop your own little methods of how to deal with it but anyone who tell you say them no nervous when them go i lied about tell me nervous <laughs> <laughs> all right watch this now we, we're almost on the wrap up so before the countdown come on i just want your your you do your big ups and then if any question leave after that we can we can angle it so, yeah man First and foremost, you know, I'd like to big up my partner in crime, Randy Dyer, you know, Team Cena Citizen. Big up all, all the JRDC. Thank, thank them all for just to try to keep the thing going, you know. Um, you know, me have a big up Paul Gammon, Bionic, my original mentor and Bogle, my original crew chief, you know, Tasmania, you know, Portmore Empire, Monique, my sister. Monty and Michael Spice, I keep the, the pictures alive. I will just tell them, don't guns, they say, this COVID thing, and I see of them, we soon come sort them out. <laughs> and, you know, Jamaica just stay safe. We're going to get through this. You know, we yeah. have to get through this, you know. Straight, yeah. straight, straight. All right. All right. So, we have a few minutes left. We don't get the countdown timer yet. So, any question, um, feel free, peeps, to ask. Um, but maybe we can take a, an, another question or two. Um, but yeah, tall man, I feel just say, um, in the Kirby, meantime, I feel say, big Kirby, up. Kirby has never beat me in a race. I actually, <laughs> I actually helped Kirby build him style it, so that is incorrect. Okay. Me help Kirby okay, okay. help Richie Bins build them style it. See. Saying. All right, I see boosting Jamaica is saying that bikers aren't appreciated. Well, <laughs> that's something definitely the organizers would have to look look into for the upcoming meets. You, you know what I mean? Um, somebody's asking if you race against Pugo. Enough time. Beat Pugo enough time in beat me sometime. All right. Uncle Peter is asking, oh, pins in the body how many how many pins in the body just in the right foot two mm -mm. any plans of racing well somebody's asking any plans to race in a foreign the bike fully prepared you know but I mean, you know this season we definitely don't go out this season we had already discussed it family at a little plan set a little budget but with the COVID-19 thing you know and public gathering ban because I live in Bergen mm -hmm. County, you know, in New Jersey. So mm -hmm. I'm in one of the hot zones. And, you know, work gone up for me because I work with a supermarket chain. I do delivery to them. Yeah. So my work mm -hmm. schedule right now wouldn't allow it. And on top of that, you know, nothing is happening. Everything is cancelled right now. Mm -hmm.